In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a common mistake that new tomato gardeners often make without even knowing it that can destroy your tomato harvest. There are two main types of tomato plants, indeterminate tomato plants and determinate tomato plants. And while they are both tomatoes and the fruit is indistinguishable from each other, they behave very differently. Whether a tomato plant is a determinate or indeterminate variety will be clearly labelled on each individual seed packet or in the listing if you order your seeds online or from a catalogue. The overwhelming majority of tomato varieties are indeterminate tomatoes. So when you watch pruning tutorials online for how to best prune your tomato plants, you are probably watching videos on how to prune indeterminate tomato plants and that can cause a major problem. Indeterminate tomato plants are a vine that will grow to an indeterminate length, meaning it will continue to grow until it is killed off either by pests, disease or weather, most commonly frost and freeze. Indeterminate tomato vines can grow like crazy. They can produce suckers in between the leaf and the stem at the node, and then those suckers will grow into new main stems that will take over an area. For that reason, when you look online for tomato pruning tutorials, they usually tell you to remove most of the suckers on the tomato plant itself to control the growth and try to keep it to one or two main stems. Single stemming has become very common because it is a great way to manage the growth of your tomato plants, maximize airflow, and keep them compact to a small space. The problem is this method of pruning only works for indeterminate tomato varieties. If you do this to determinate varieties, you will absolutely destroy your harvest. So if you're not specifically paying attention to the seed packets or to the varieties of the transplants that you're growing and you're growing both indeterminate and determinate varieties and pruning them all the same, you will have a very bad harvest. And here's why. Determinate tomato plants are not vines. They grow as a bush to a predetermined height, hence the name determinate. Depending on the variety you grow, they are anywhere from two to four feet tall at maturity. So it's very important that you treat them differently because they grow in an entirely different way. Determinate tomatoes need to sucker as much as possible because they have a very stocky short stem and it's all of those suckers that grow off at 45 degree angles at the nodes that produce all of the flowers that then become your fruit. So if you prune them like an indeterminate and remove those suckers, you will not get flowers and you will not get fruit. In fact, determinate tomatoes basically shouldn't be pruned at all. The only acceptable growth that you can remove from determinate tomatoes are leaves and suckers below the first flower cluster. Once you see a flower cluster, you should not remove any of the leaves. But other than that little bit of pruning, there's really nothing else that you should do to it. The only other time it's acceptable to remove foliage from a determinate tomato plant is if the plant is suffering from disease and has some diseased leaves that you can remove or remove the first flower cluster if your plant is too short. So if you're new to growing tomatoes, make sure you keep these things in mind. If you're growing a blend of indeterminate, determinate and dwarf tomatoes and you're unaware and you treat them all the same, you can run into major problems that will negatively affect your harvest. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell to receive new video notifications. Your support is greatly appreciated.